Okay, well, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Here we are in Texas today. This is the neat thing about Epicure. We can do it wherever we are and have fun. So we're gonna do the Thai coconut soup, which is a new packet that just came out. That's this one right here. And I haven't made it yet, but that's another thing I really like about Epicure. You can just do it on the fly and it always comes out good. So we're gonna do, we're doing a double recipe because we got a lot of people to feed here. So they're all gonna try it. So if you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's because people are just coming and going. We're also gonna do this lemon curd uh, mix, but we're gonna try and make a lemon tart cheesecake out of it without a crust. So we're just gonna put it in a little, like a pudding cup and um, I've made this before. It only takes a half a cup of water and three eggs, and I've made it using water and chia eggs. So using chia seeds with hot water, mix them up and they get to be mucilaginous, and use that instead of the eggs. It doesn't come out yellow, so I'm assuming the yellow color is from egg yolks. Mine came out kind of a grayish color, but it tasted so good. And I put some coconut whipped cream on top with one um, raspberry that we freeze dried. So, but today I wanna try, this has a starch in it. It has some starch, so I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of hot water so the starch can activate. Then I'm gonna mix it with cream cheese, vegan cream cheese. And then we have coconut whipped cream and we freeze dried some really good organic strawberries. So we're gonna put one of those on top of it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think I'll start with the soup. If I can figure out how to turn on the stove. It's one of these kind of fancy stoves. So I'll show you what I have. Oh, the other thing we're gonna make is spring rolls, rice paper spring rolls. And we're gonna use um, a, a peanut sauce using the Sorry about that, using the Asian stir fry mix. So um, it's a peanut sauce. I actually already made it and it looks like this. But I'll show you everything that's on it, um, that's in it. Somehow we will um, show you everything. This, this isn't like my normal kitchen, so I'm not able to, I'm not, I'm trying to figure out how to show you everything from, this is my computer, so I can't just like push the little flip thing and the camera goes the other way around, like on a phone. So I'm putting this on a bucket that's filled with water. I sure hope it doesn't fall in. We had to collect water buckets because we have no water here. Two, hour, two times a day, we get to turn on the water for an hour. So we turned on, so we have a water bucket and I just hope my computer doesn't fall in. So I have water on the stove here. Can you guys still see me? Um, can you guys hear me okay? Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try and turn this stove on. Hi. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, perfect. So the package says, it says to put two cups of water. Let's see. Oh, it says to put your cubed sweet potatoes in the Epicure steamer and put it in the microwave. So I didn't bring my steamer on this trip. I didn't bring anything but these packets. So, and my friend here had the Asian stir fry seasoning mix. So I'm like, perfect, we can use that. Um, so I put the cubed sweet potatoes on the stove and I steamed them already. So they're already steamed, but you could put them in the Epicure steamer and, oh, I turned on the wrong burner. We'll just move the pan, <laughs> that works. So we have, it says two cups of water, I put four and one can, so, Mix the seasoning with two cups of hot water and one can of coconut milk. Cover and bring to a boil. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these two packets of seasoning, the two cans of coconut milk in with my water, and we will, 
hopefully find the lid. I think she already put it away. And then um, we can get that boiling. Sorry if I disappear. I'm glad it's just you guys. This is so awkward. <laughs> In somebody else's kitchen running around looking for everything. I should have had it ready, don't you think? Well, I'll just use one of these. I think I got stuff out and then she was trying to clean the kitchen for me. So I'm just going to dump the seasoning packets into the hot water. And I had another one of these packets over here. Oh, don't want to dump the lemon curd in there. So we have Thai coconut soup. So there's four cups of water, two packages of the soup mix. I'm going to put in two cans of coconut milk. It's pretty crazy down here. You go into the grocery store and there's hardly any food. We went to the gas station and they didn't have any diesel. So we had to go to a different town. But I was able to find everything I needed. Went to two different stores. So I'm just gonna stir this soup up. I'm just stirring the mix in. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is what it looks like in the pan. It's just coconut milk and water and the seasonings. So I'm just going to stir that up. And it says to bring it to a boil, probably to rehydrate those veggies. That looks pretty good. So these are the other things that I have for it. Let me just bring you to this cutting board. So I have, can you see the cutting board okay? I have some cube tofu. I have baby bok choy. In case anybody doesn't know what it looks like, it's just a little um, bunch that looks like this before it's cut. And then I couldn't find fresh mushrooms in the store, but I found some dried mushrooms. These are porcini mushrooms. So I'm gonna use those. And then I've got the chopped bok choy and the sweet potatoes. So this is pretty much all it takes besides the coconut milk. So that's pretty easy. So do you guys see all that stuff? Okay, you can turn your sound on. <laughs> so let me find the lid for that. It, Brenda, we ha I, if I turn the sound on, can you hear the background of the air machine going? No. Okay. I don't hear it. Do you hear the background of the little doggy barking outside? Yes. That's a visitor. Is it a chihuahua? No, it's a, hmm. She has a flat face and she looks like a rug. She has just straight hair. That's a pug? Maybe. Oh. I don't know what she is. Um, no. Lock 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 up to. Maybe. Oh. maybe. I'm going to take you over to see her. I'm not sure why she's outside. Oh. <laughs> here. Isn't she cute? Can you see her? Oh, she is cute. Yeah, she's either a Lhasa or a Shikutu. I'm not sure why she's out there, so I'm not going to let her. Oh, Jan's going <laughs> to. She was cute anyway. <laughs> and she's a good. She cute. Okay, so she's going to get the lid for that. When she comes back, I'll ask her for it. And in the meantime, oh, we didn't put any water in there. No wonder it's not boiling yet. It's a really hot pan because it has no water in it. The water is boiling before it even got to the stove. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn that off. And that, okay. 
Thank you. Did Nina make it on? I don't see her. She asked me what time I should text her and ask her if she. Oh, Dina, it wasn't one o'clock her time. No, she <laughs> said it's not letting her join. So let's see what I can do. She said she clicked on the link and it didn't let her join. Let me try and get it to her again. Maybe I should just tell her try again. Maybe I sent her the wrong one. Let me get the one I emailed to you guys. Sorry about that. Sent. She's recording. So that just shows us that she's recording. I'm just trying to find out from, um, I'm trying to see if I gave her the wrong link. So I'm just gonna copy it. The one I gave you guys, because apparently that worked. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I texted it to her and emailed it to you guys. So I might have given her a different one. Okay, so I just had her go on again, try again. And this is my friend Jan. Jan, this is my mom and my sister Barbie. Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. It's like something's burning. So yeah, it's because of the water. This water with water went dry. You want this up high? Yes, please. It needs to boil. And then if I can get a small bowl for that water, that is yes. Thank you. Oh, there's Dina. There's Dina. Hi, Dina. Oh, she's still connecting. I can't see you. I can't see you. You made it. That works. Thank you. Hi, it. How are y'all? Good. How about you? Hi, Dina. Hi, Dina. Good. Hi. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dina. Oh, we did so good. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we Hi. Did the, um, water and the coconut milk and the seasoning in the soup, and we're getting ready to boil. And then we're going to make some um, cheesecakes with this. Well, it's kind of like a cheesecake pudding with this lemon curd. Can you see, Dina? I don't see you. You don't see me? No, I we can can't see. see. You have to turn your video on. Make your video. It's hard to find it on the iPhone. Let me try it again. There. There you are. Now can you see me? Now we see you. Yes. Okay, so we've got, okay. got some boiling water here and I'm using this. Have you have you seen this lemon curd stuff yet? This is lemon curd. No. I'm just going to dissolve it into this water and then I'm going to mix it into some vegan cream cheese and we're going to make kind of like a cheesecake pudding. But first I want to dissolve it in the water. And I don't know how it'll turn out because I've never done this before, but I do know it's going to taste good because the mix tastes good itself. So I'm just dissolving all the little chunks in here in this hot water. And I think we figured out from the last time we tried this, what makes it yellow, like what's on the package, is the egg yolks. It normally calls for three eggs. So mine isn't gonna be yellow, but it looks a better color than the last time. It was kind of gray because I used chia seeds. I'm going to go get another bowl real quick. 
and get my um, cream cheese and mix it together and then I'll put it back in the fridge and we're going to do that while the, the soup is start is getting ready to boil. I'll be right back. So Dina, do you guys have any snow? No. We got yeah. snow and ice um, Thursday, but we don't have any now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Is Carly at your house? No, she's at home. Is she? Um, we had been working on my office this weekend, so we didn't get the girls. Oh, okay. What are you doing to your office? Um, making it warmer. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Uh, where the fire had been, we hadn't used the fireplace, hold on, and it came apart from the wall, so cold air was coming oh. in. Oh, no. So, Benji and Eric fixed it and put um, plastic up and insulation stuff so it would um, be warm. So. Good. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any snow? Mine is just melting. It's been there for about a week, more than a week. We had 14 inches at my house. Oh my goodness. Right? Wow. <laughs> about a pound and a half of these little slabs of cream cheese. And I used about a half a cup of water. And now I'm going to mix this. This is just mixed with water, with hot water, just so it can dissolve. Uh oh, that means my soup is boiling over. Talking to the. Uh oh. Boiled over. I'll just push it over. How long are you going to stay, Barbie? Um, I am not sure yet. I keep her as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brenda, how was your trip to Texas? It was good. We had um, clear roads all ahead of us, so that was really good. So now we're supposed to reduce the heat and simmer now that it boiled over. Did you guys see it boil over? Yes. yes. <laughs> Brenda, your pot's boiling over. <laughs> okay, so now we're <laughs> the tofu, the baby bok choy, and the mushrooms, and the sweet potatoes, and it just has to simmer it for one minute. So we're just going to put all that stuff in. Thank you, Dan. Okay. And this is, I forgot, what kind of soup is it? It's high coconut soup. High coconut soup. That's the one that looks like this. Okay. Can you guys read it back? Is it backwards when you see it? It's, no. it's right. No, I, it's right for us. So I'm just going to put in, and we use this baby bok choy. It looks like before it's chopped. Okay, so we're just going to put in the baby bok choy. And it's just going to cook for one minute, basically, just enough to make those vegetables limp. And I'm putting in the tofu. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Yeah. So does your tofu only cook for one minute, Brenda? Does it only cook for one minute? You mean, will it get hot in one minute? Yeah, I mean, you said you're putting everything in there for one minute. It says one minute for everything. Simmer it for one minute. It's How does your, what's the texture of your tofu like? Extra firm is what I got. And all Extra firm? All it's doing is heating it up. It's not actually 
um, cooking, it. cooking it. If you wanted it cooked, like soups, they often use soft tofu and they just, um, they're just warm. And because mm -hmm. I used firm tofu, but it's not like, you know, I didn't like braise it ahead of time and make it crunchy. Yeah, I like it better crunchy. Yeah, it's, and if you put flavor, it kind of. Yep. But this time, even though they make miso soup with just plain cubes of tofu, have you ever had miso soup? Is yes. It Only it doesn't taste like miso soup. Okay, so can you guys see this? Yum. Let me bring the computer close. <clears throat> It smells really good. <laughs> you see that? Beautiful. It's really it looks good. And it smells good too. So I'm just gonna, it says optional, you can squeeze a pinch of lime in here. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lime. And then I'm gonna serve it with lime wedges on the side. So if people want more lime juice, they can do that. So I'm just going to leave it on here and put the lid on and we'll be done with the soup. Mm. I guess I should probably taste it so I can tell you guys what it tastes like. <laughs> I'll do that in a minute. I'll let it cook for a minute. And in the meantime, I'm going to get back to this teaser. Thank you. So I just have to cream cheese in here with the lemon mix and once you put that lemon mix back in the fridge it gets kind of solid more solid I'm just trying to get it all mixed in with the cream cheese first Good. Even if it doesn't get any more solid than this, it's still gonna be yummy. There's still a few chunks of cream cheese, probably a whisk would work better. Were you working on a project, Dina? Yeah, I'm making a t-shirt for my hairdresser. Oh, nice. I thought you were working on something. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. And a, yeah, and a cup for her daughter. Can you Aww. see it? Oh, yes. Was... Pause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I painted it. Did you see the paint? The yes I'm gonna beautiful i just tasted it it's really yeah good. it's pretty much pretty okay i made some you guys see this recipe frontwards? Yes. Okay. I'm leaving it on here because we are going to put this on the YouTube channel so you can see it after. And you oh, can okay. pause it then and write it down. But this is a Thai peanut sauce that we're going to put Yum. in. Oh. And I <laughs> She's going to make the rolls. This that I used for it. So I used fresh lemon, fresh garlic. I just diced it up with a knife, some raw honey, and some chunky peanut butter. And um, this, let's see. Looks like a cabbage roll. Asian stir fry, salt, stir fry mix. I put some of that in there. And then it comes out like this. So you can add a little bit of water if you want it thinner than this. If you want it to be like a, a dipping sauce that's not quite this thick, I'll probably add another 
um, like a tablespoon of water. I made one already. That's already made too, but this one is a little thinner. I added more water to it, you can see. Can you see it down there? So I'm going to put... Yeah. yeah. Let me get some really hot water here. Can you put the recipe up there again real fast? Yes. Let me put this on the stove and then I will put the recipe up there. I'm just going to put some hot water. I, I screenshotted it. Barbie, I screenshotted it if you want me to send it to you in a text. I think that was Thank you. Me that wanted it. Did you see it? Okay, uh -huh. I got it. Thank you. <clears throat> so let me turn this burner on. Got it. Yeah, I think I got it. Yep, it's going on. Okay. And it's just water, so hopefully it won't make a mess if I. <laughs> so I just did simple this time. I made a coleslaw mix. Like a, this is an Asian coleslaw mix. It has different um, salad dressings and stuff, but I'm just going to take them out and not use them because that's not what I want it for. I'm just going to dump this whole package into my stir fry, I mean my peanut sauce. We also have this one to put in. It disappears, you have to move down to the bottom. Just so you can see. So, could you even see Okay. I sent it to you, Barb. This is the Asian coleslaw mix. I just bought it from the store, already chopped up. And I'm just mixing this peanut sauce in it. You don't have to, you don't have to have anything else in here. But I like it so every bite has something besides just vegetables. So I'm just kind of mixing it together. And then as soon as my water gets warm, hot, I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Have any of you ever used rice paper spring roll wrappers? I can't ever find them. They're yes, I have. So I just found these at Albertsons. But you can, and I had to look kind of hard, but they have them. I'll show you what the package looks like. Like this in this little package. Sometimes they're in a clear, round, harder plastic package. Thank you. <laughs> are they in with the vegetables? No, they are with the, like the rice and the soy sauce and all those Asian sauces. They're okay, so they don't have to stay cold. They're Right. So, okay, thanks. <clears throat> and then does she wrap that in it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, let's try this. Is that how it is? Are you making spring rolls like out of that mix? Yes. So basically, they come out in these little, really, do you remember when we used to go to Gigi's house and we went to the, the we walked to the market? And we got candy that had wrappers that was edible. That's rice paper. They yeah. Were yeah. That's what this. It reminds me of that when we when we use it. They're just these thin. Like they look like this. Neat. And then when you put them in the hot water. So we usually just get a bowl with hot water and dip it in and it kind of disappears. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it anymore. It disappeared. Yeah, it did. 
So just kind of let it sit in there for just a few seconds. And it's going to come out really flimsy. If you want it really, really flimsy, you leave it in longer and it's a little bit sticky. So I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Do you see it now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this cutting board over here. Yeah, I think you can see it. Yep. So I'm just going to roll it out, flatten it on the cutting board. And I'm going to take some of this gooey stuff. And I'm just going to put like a, a little spoonful of it in the middle. They have these in different sizes. I don't think I've ever had them this small before. Are you guys able to see that? Yes. Sort of just roll it like you would an enchilada or a burrito. You can, if you don't fill it too full, it's better. So I just fold it over the two sides and the top. And now I'm just going to roll it tight. And then it will stick to itself. And it looks oh, like nice. Yay. Cute. This probably has enough sauce in it that we don't need the dipping sauce on the side because you can see it's pretty saucy. So that's done. I'm gonna so do you eat it just like that or do you bake it? Nope, you eat it just like that. So when we had okay. for kids or for like our adult foster home, it's a really good way to get them to eat their salad because it's just all in a little bundle and they just can pick it up and eat it. <laughs> One lady thought it had to go off the wrapper and not eat it, so then her salad was a big mess. It wasn't easy. <laughs> For everybody else, okay, I'm going to turn off that back burner. So I'm going to check our dessert real quick. And see and come say hi. Hi, Ted. Yeah. Hi. Oh, hi, Ted. Hi. Good to see you. How are we doing? Pretty good. How are you? Hey. We're doing good. Good. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Did you get all the cooking done? Yeah, we're just about done cooking. You want to come taste it? Yeah. <laughs> well, come on over. Y'all come. <laughs> you thought I was yesterday, didn't you, Brand? What's that? Okay. I didn't hear what you said. You thought I was yesterday, huh? <laughs> she texted me and said, okay, I'll come get it. I'm like, <laughs> she said, oh, wrong person. I said, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some whipped cream. You can use regular whipped cream, but this is just a vegan variety. And I'm gonna put it on top of our so our stuff did set up some. Can you see it gel there? So it yep. did, you could put it in a, yeah. like a graham cracker crust if you wanted. Or And this we brought this whipped cream all the way from Oregon. I figured, well, it can just stay in the back of the pickup and it'll stay frozen. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't look that great. And then these are our freeze-dried strawberries. They, they kind of feel like a sponge. You know, you can break them open and they just... Ooh, yum. So, let me grab a... So this is our little dessert. Mm. Oh, that's cute. And it tastes yummy. Yum. Yeah. And then we've got our spring rolls. And I'm going to taste the soup here and let you guys know what I think mm. of it. No, you can get it over my no, I'm good. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to do this over my hand. It's really steamy. It smells really good. 
Mm. <laughs> it tastes good too. It needs salt. Just so you know, it needs salt. But it is yummy. Mm. Wish you all were here. I made plenty. <laughs> yes, that would be fun. Well, that's it. Our five, our top meal. Hey, next time you need to come here to do your cooking show. No, it's not that far away, probably. <laughs> probably not. You can probably get here in about two days. <laughs> two days from where we are. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, where are you at in Texas? We're just south of the US. Tomorrow we're going to Tyler. So is that where they got? Yeah, they got. That's where my friend lives. Yes. This is a tiny little town. When our friend said, oh, I bought a trailer in Tyler, Texas. It's very small. Like, I've been there like three times. He's like, what? Because when we used to go to homeschool conferences, it was right. That was the only town closest to it. So we've actually done laundry there. We've stayed there. It's a tiny little town. It's three hours east. In of Tyler? Tyler, that's where we're going. See, my friend Julie that used to live here, she moved there, so her kids are still there. Oh, wow. Carrie and Lynn, that's where they live. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's... Hmm. We'll... My world. Yeah, we should be there around noonish tomorrow. So we're going to pick up the train. I think it's maybe... Maybe an 18 hour drive. I can't remember between 15 and 18 hours. Oh, well, that's nothing. Compared so you see, you could be here in two days. That's true. <laughs> you could be here in two days. Yeah. The longest we did so did you pull the camper? No, we are pulling it back. We're picking up a trailer for our friend. So we- Oh, that's right. For um, ben. the guy that was at the wedding. Yeah, he played the piano. The right, the one that took the pictures. Yes. He was taking pictures too, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming on here. So I'm going to put it on YouTube. I'm going to put a link so you can order from um, Dina's cooking class. And it's open for till the 26th. The class is open till the 26th. So um, you can, all the things that we did today are on there. We basically, we didn't use a whole lot. We used the Thai coconut soup. We used the lemon curd mix and we used the Asian stir fry uh, sauce seasoning. So those are things that I would make this again. It's yummy. So. Yes. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Welcome. <clears throat> Thank you. God bless. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi. Do you know how to get out of here? Oh.